Hey everyone, Reed here. I want to talk to you today about a great way to help your users navigate and utilize the report. Bookmark buttons have been around for a while now and do an amazing number of things. What I want to show you today is how to utilize the tooltip setting to add an additional text pop-up that can help guide your users to the bookmarks button functionality. Adding little tips like these will help show them how to use each button and provide clear explanations to their purpose. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and use the Power BI template that I've created and that I have hosted on my company's website. Now this is completely free to download. It's just a great template that has a lot of visualizations and other design practices that have been implemented and you can easily just import your own data and then swap it out with the demo data that I have. So I'd encourage you, if you're interested at all in what you see, go ahead and download that and play around with it a bit. Now, one of the coolest things that I built into this was this bookmarks pop-up over here. You'll notice that if I click this button, it pops out, allowing a bookmarks pane to show up that has your slicers and all of the things that you can interact with. And then when you're done, the user can close that and get rid of it. Now, what I want to show you today is how to add a little bit extra to that to help the user really navigate through that and understand what these buttons do. You'll notice that if I hover over any of my bookmark buttons, they each have their own custom tooltip, including the one for that pop-up, which tells the user they can click to expand the slicers pane. So let me show you where that setting is found. If I select this bookmark button and I come over here to the right under my action settings, there is a section here for tooltip. I'll expand that out a bit and that has the text, click to expand the slicers pane. Now currently the only thing that you can put into here is just plain text. There's no option to add a measure or anything else, but it's still a really nice way to add that custom tooltip to clearly explain exactly what that button is doing so the users know how to interact with it. And that's all there is to it. It's a really simple addition, but can add a lot of assistance to people who aren't as familiar with the report or who are trying to get used to your report design. And I definitely go for a bit of the custom route, so I think that will really help my end users. All right, with that being said, that about covers it for this video. If you liked this video, please click the like button or add a note down in the comment section. And if you wanna see more of these, please subscribe to the channel. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.